a tremendous fight. Now, when we say Melty Brain, for those unaware, I mean, these are really cool robots. That, that ring-shaped robot in the other corner, the whole thing spins in place. Uh, but it's able to pulse the speed of the motors, and using that can translate around the arena as if it were driving like a regular robot. But the full mass is spinning extremely fast. So they have 100% of the weight in the spinning uh, weapon, whereas four, their opponent might have three, a quarter of their weight two, in the weapon. Much one, higher six, momentum two, in that spinner. spinner. You can see the greatest challenge spinning up there, the entire chassis spinning and drawing circles on the ground. Yeah. Turbo Fiend upside down on their head. Turbo Fiend did not have an answer for that hit. It took them quite a bit to get themselves situated. Yeah, it has been hard all day to get the Greatest Challenge to slow down. Turbo Fiend now stuck in between the house robot. Looks like they're able to get themselves unstuck. That was a good bit of self-riding, but boy, the Greatest Challenge is just getting great. Oh! by Turbo Fiend. Putting gashes in our arena walls. All day, Turbo Fiend has been showing a sort of like slow control. They're not the fastest robot, they're not the most powerful robot, but they're able to get this control, and it hasn't been all day I've seen the greatest challenge pinned like this. This is what Turbo Fiend wants to do, slow them down, stop them moving. They're gonna have to try and release the pin here. You can see they're caught on the barb. Yeah, this is not an easy pin to release. No. The shape of Greatest Challenge, a little bit unique there, and it's getting stuck on the barb of, of Turbo Fiend. Yeah, those little hooks on the front uh, forks of Turbo Fiend, usually very helpful when you can continue to ram your weapon into your opponent. Oh, now oh. they're stuck in the wall. Now, that first unstick was more of a, a split, so I believe right. each robot still has their own unstick. What a hit there by Turbo Fiend again, tossing Greatest Challenge up so, into the air. So much energy, but you'll notice Turbo Fiend is down a weapon now. Mm. Um, this fight has gone dramatically in the favor of Greatest Challenge. If they can continue to land hits, they will have won damage and they probably will have run aggression. <laughs> Amazing how much quieter Greatest Challenge is when they're running up it, speed versus Turbo Fiend. It's especially impressive because Greatest Challenge as a Melty Brain, those are usually loud robots. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's going fast. I mean, it's dishing out big hits. Yeah, I think that uh, it's not the fastest spinner in the world, but I think it's still spinning at close to 100 miles an yeah. hour. And so much, again, so much momentum able to really impact the opponent, get big now, bite. Now look, see that glowing kind of blue color coming <laughs> off of Greatest <laughs> Challenge? Well, now, now we always see is purple and orange. This it, is the uh, thermal you can camera, see folks. The, the motors on Greatest Challenge as they spin around uh, within the ring. Yeah, you can also heat. see the... Um, uh, the tire tracks. So there's yeah. so much friction against the floor. <laughs> these uh, these melty brains are difficult to build because every part of your internal is taking the full force of the impact of these hits. It's true. It needs everything needs to be super solid. We're gonna come down. I'm pretty darn sure we're gonna be looking at a judge's decision here. Yes, we're coming down to the last 10 seconds. You gotta think that the greatest challenge has done enough here. Coming out of the fight basically unscathed. Yeah, especially with a nice hit there at the yeah. end to show off. Turbo Fiend's only real moment of control negated by the inability to release. Of course, if you can't release the pin when the judge says to release, it doesn't count. Well, uh, and it makes sense, too. Remember, 